Kathy Wood and ARK Invest shocked the world with her 2019 prediction that Tesla stock would be worth $4,000 by 2024, at a time when the shares were trading for just $80 each. I was skeptical, but followed it up and ended up investing a small amount in the stock. The pandemic took Tesla rocketing, and ARK upgraded its target to $7,000 a share by 2024, or $466 a share accounting for splits and adjustments. And the stock nearly got there in less than a year, reaching $407 per share by October 2021. Then ARK came out in 2022 with its updated price target. Now Tesla would reach over $1,500 per share by 2026. And I started questioning their sanity just a little bit. Now, ARK's new Tesla price target this year, $2,000 per share by 2027. And I'm thinking someone's got to be high on crack. Tesla at $2,000 a share by 2027 would be a 630% return, a $6.3 trillion company, making it bigger than Apple, Google, and Amazon combined. But they were right in 2019, and Tesla is now just 70% from its original 2020 updated target for next year's price. So for this video, I wanted to dig into that $2,000 price target, show you what it depends on and how close we're gonna get to that 600% return. ARK does do a good job of walking through these assumptions and the forecast for Tesla. So we're gonna be working through this, adding up the numbers and calling bullshit where we need to. There's no doubt that Tesla is revolutionizing how we drive and has a long way to go, but we need to stay unemotional about the company and be able to analyze where it's going and the investment itself. Nation, that is your single biggest challenge as an investor, especially with these popular stocks like Apple, Tesla, Amazon, even some of the smaller meme stocks like AMC and GameStop. You cannot fall so much in love with these stocks that you can't see when they're overvalued and overhyped. Fortunately for you, I'm a cold SOB that's gonna give you the honest lowdown on a stock whether you wanna hear it or not. So let's get started digging into that research. And I wanna get started here with an explanation of the price target and how ARK using what's called Monte Carlo analysis for this. Okay, this is a simulation where it feeds all its assumptions and possible cash flows into a computer and then that computer runs thousands of scenarios for what it means for the stock price on Tesla. From that, ARK pulls three prices here. It's expected value of $2,000. That's gonna be right smack dab in the middle of all those scenarios. Then the bear case estimate of $1,400 a share. That's on the left there. That's the lower end of the scenarios, that worst 25% outcome. And then the bull case scenario, that's the best 25 percentile, that, that 25th percent outcome is the upper forecast, that $2,500 for shares of Tesla. What I think a lot of investors can take away from this though is even in that worst case scenario of $1,400 a share and even lower in the analysis, shares should still be around $1,000 each by 2027. At that current stock price, even the $1,400 target would be a 416% total return, a 50% annualized return. So ARK is obviously hugely positive on shares of Tesla. But the most important thing I think investors need to understand here, and you see this in these pie charts that we'll go through, and this is where you need to use your own judgment is that even though ARK is saying it's using 41 inputs into the price prediction here, so 41 different factors to Tesla that will increase revenue, earnings, and potentially the stock price, there are really only two that matter. You see here in these three pie charts, uh, these show the estimates for Tesla revenue, earnings, uh, revenue, earnings on an EBITDA basis, and then the company value by 2027. That's the enterprise values, the company's value there. ARK has incorporated five business units driving the growth here, really. Electric vehicles, robo-taxi, energy storage, human-driven uh, ride-hailing, and insurance. But look at the percentages here. This is what's important. The revenue from energy storage, ride-hailing, and insurance combined is just 9% of the total and 7% of earnings. That contribution to Tesla's stock price, the enterprise value pie right here on the right, these are less than 10%. Now, on the other hand, ARK is saying that the robo-taxi portion of the business accounts for 67% of the stock's value on that price estimate. Even the EV portion is only going to be about 24% of the company's value there in 2027. So we will dig deeper into the analysis and price target for Tesla here, but if you follow ARK's reasoning, it's all going to depend on when it rolls out that robo-taxi service and, and how profitable it is against competition. So now let's dig deeper into this analysis, into how ARK came up with that $2,000 Tesla price target on the EV and the robo-taxi side to make our own estimate. We have 12 factors here from car production to sales estimates uh, for each segment and profitability. Now we're not going to look at all of these, but really just the most important to make our own forecast. Now this top line here, this car sold, this is ARC is forecasting that Tesla can increase its production on cars from 1.3 million sold last year 
to a low of 10.3 million and a high of 20.7 million for the year 2027. Now that would be at least an eight-fold increase on the bear case and 16 times increase on production on that bull case. But you got to question how realistic that is. We see the historical production here and from 2017 over the five years to last year, Tesla did produce a 12-fold increase in production or about 66% a year, which was amazing. But that rate fell to 40% growth from 2021 to last year. Now, Tesla is still ramping up its Berlin and Austin gigafactories and will definitely be building more. But is it right to assume that the company can continue to grow production at 50% a year, even, even in the bear case scenario, and 74% a year growth in that bull case? And what you got to factor in here is this car's sold estimate not only relies on Tesla's production growth, but also demand for electric vehicles and just overall demand for cars. Here in data from the St. Louis Fed, we see total vehicle sales in the U.S. pretty much topped out at about 18 million annual pace pre-pandemic and, and have struggled over the last couple of years. Now here we get an estimate for growth in the U.S. electric vehicle market and percentage of all cars that are going to be EV. By 2027, this is assuming just over 3 million EV vehicles sold per year and about 18% of the total car market. Now here, ARC is estimating total worldwide sales, but the U.S. still is about half of those sales last year. Tesla sold just over 535 million cars in the U.S. for about 60% of its total U.S. EV market share. The point here is, even if we're assuming Tesla can maintain 50% of the U.S. EV market, which is a big assumption considering some of, the, some of the vehicles produced by some of the legacy car makers, and we blow past those adoption estimates for 5 million EVs sold in 2027 instead of just 3 million predicted here. That is still only 1.5 million in Tesla unit demand here in the U.S., and the rest of the world would need to be ordering almost 9 million Tesla even to meet this bear case outcome on production. Now, I'm going to be a little bit more optimistic than that and estimate that Tesla won't be so constrained on demand that it's going to keep opening up those new, new gigafactories and can maintain at least maybe a 40% annual production growth. From 1.3 million cars last year, that gets us to 7 million cars produced in 2027. Now, I'm going to take ARC, uh, give ARC the benefit of the doubt on the average selling price here, and let's use a midpoint of about $30,000 per vehicle for the total electric vehicle revenue here of about $209.7 billion there in 2027. And so on this alone, we can start to build out that price target. We look here in the statistics tab on Yahoo Finance and see Tesla is trading right now for a price of about 10.12 times sales. Of course, it's been as low as 5.6 times sales and as high as 12 times here, here in the recent past. But if we use that 10 times multiplier on our 2027 vehicle revenue of 209.7 billion, we get just for the EV business here, a market cap of $2.1 trillion. Now that's 144% above the current market cap and a share price of about $660 over the next four years. So I think that can be our just low case base case estimate. So see, I'm not so mean, and I'm not the Tesla bear you thought I was. Just that EV side of the business, assuming Tesla can keep 40% annual production growth, the car price and price to sales ratio gets us to a 25% annualized return over the next four years. And we're going to get to that bigger part of the Tesla stock upside, that robo-taxi potential. But first, if you want to see the stocks I'm buying for the next 30 years, my forever stocks, look for the link I'll leave in the description below. It's a free report I created with The Motley Fool, my forever stocks, the stocks I'm buying for 10x returns. Click through that link. You're going to see the first stock immediately. Then we'll get the next four by email. The report is totally free and some of my favorite stocks, so check that out. But again here, ARK is saying that that EV portion of the business is just going to be the cake by 2027, that the robo-taxi potential is the real meat and potatoes return here with 47% of sales and two-thirds of the stock value from that self-driving, ride-hailing segment. Now the problem here is they don't really give us much to do with our estimates here. The autonomous ride hailing is expected to produce $200 billion in revenue by 2027 in that bear case scenario and as much as $613 billion in the bull case scenario. Now a lot of this though is going to depend on when Tesla is able to roll out that robo-taxi service and I gotta say ARC seems very optimistic on this aspect. We see here a graph of the rollout schedule. It breaks down the possibility of rollout by year, giving 55% odds that Tesla has its robo-taxi service out this year or next, 22% odds that it can still do it by the end of 2023. It reasons below the graph here that, that, given, the, that given the fact that Tesla drivers are driving about 120 million miles a day and 1 million miles a day in that FSD mode, that full self-driving mode, it's being used by the Dojo supercomputer to trade the self, train the self-driving app. It's going to be able to launch that robo-taxi service. 
There are just so many assumptions here. I'm gonna to try to walk through a few of them and forecast a potential upside for the stock. I do believe this robotaxi division is gonna boost Tesla, but as we saw with that production, I think ARC is playing fast and loose with the assumptions here. I can go along with the assumption that the RoboTaxi service is launched maybe this year or next. A vehicle testing isn't as far along as some of the competitors, but it is on the road. The problem I have though is that competition. Waymo and GM crews have already been approved for 24-hour RoboTaxi operation in San Francisco. A GM announced the company is now driving 10,000 rides a week and growing at a 49% pace month over month just over the last half year. The GM RoboTaxi division is also doing paid rides in Phoenix and Austin while testing in Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, and Miami already. And honestly, I found it really hard to find where Tesla is even testing its RoboTaxi service. Okay, it's testing its regular cars, that FSD mode, but where is it testing its RoboTaxi service? So if it's in your city testing that RoboTaxi service, let me know in the comments below. But right now it seems most of the AI training is just from those customer driven miles. But even if Tesla is able to roll out that paid service in 2024, it's gonna have a lot of competition and state by state rollout is always gonna be way behind Waymo and Cruise. VSI Labs here is tracking 11 robo-taxi platforms with Waymo and Cruise by far in the most cities. And besides just that competition, I think ARC and everyone else is overestimating the robo-taxi revenue by thinking state-by-state -state adoption is gonna be faster than what it actually may be. We're already seeing significant pushback from local governments closely tied to the unions against robo-taxis. San Francisco city attorneys, the Teamsters Union, even the union representing firefighters are trying to repeal robo-taxi approvals and pushing state laws that would require self-driving cars to have drivers on board. Now, we already saw how hard the taxi drivers fought against Uber and Lyft from coming into their cities, and that fight is gonna be 10 times harder against robo-taxis, and every accident for is gonna be blamed on self-driving vehicles. You're gonna see a lot of city governments and even whole states approve laws against robo-taxis, and, and others just slow walk the approvals to, to safeguard those driver jobs. And that will mean we're gonna to need to adjust this revenue forecast for Tesla RoboTaxi. In fact, I would be surprised if Tesla can do even $100 billion in RoboTaxi revenue by 2027, about half the bear case estimate by ARC. The good news is that still gets us to over $325 billion in Tesla revenue through 2027 if we add in a few of these other segments, almost four times last year's sales. On that same 10.12 times price to sales valuation the stock is trading for now, that is a $3.3 trillion company and a $1,015 per share stock price. That is a 278% return from here and 39% annual return over the next four years. Now I know, but wait, what about the huge upside from this Dojo supercomputer? Shares of Tesla jumped 6% last week when an analyst at Morgan Stanley predicted the Dojo AI unit alone would boost value by $600 billion. Now Morgan Stanley isn't known for being overly dramatic. It's usually fairly conservative in its estimates. So I wanted to check this one out and found that the analyst is basing his predictions on revenue he's modeled out to 2040. Nation, you know I worked as an analyst and most of these guys couldn't find their ass with a map. Most of them have a hard time predicting cash flows or sales over just a couple of years. And this guy is saying he can model revenue out 17 years. I think he's got the same dealer as ARK Invest. So no, I'm not adding in the upside for Dojo or a lot of the other projects that could very well boost Tesla's stock price. I wanted to show that given realistic assumptions of what we might expect for returns on shares of Tesla and help you make a decision if it's a good investment. See the five stocks I'm buying for the next 30 years, my forever stocks, free with the link below, or click on the video to the right for how much you'd have investing $100 a month in shares of Tesla. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.